Hello, welcome back to another video. I'm just here to expose the cheating, the payoffs of the Austin McBro versus Bryce Hall fight. Just some little points that I'm exposing about how they paid off the ref. This big tall guy over here, but you can't see the all the stuff that, oh, well, I'm sorry, not all the stuff. I will try to explain some things that, you know, when Bryce Hall would clinch, it would, it would get called as if, you know, he was the only one clenching, but when Austin McBroom would clinch, it wouldn't get called at all. Same when Austin McBroom punched Bryce Hall in the back of the head, that would not get called. But Bryce Hall does it. It gets called. It's obviously rigged in Austin McBroom's favor to push that narrative to get to the Jake Paul fight. Everybody's trying to be a Jake Paul cloud chaser nowadays, you know. Trying to ride Jake Paul's nether regions to the bank. But, if Jake Paul smart, he ain't gonna have it. Anyways, just exposing that simple fact that this was rigged, it's a cheating affair, and you'll see it if you hear a little bit of the narrative that the announcers are pushing, it's Keem starts, that female fighter lady, and it's the coach. They're, Keemstar and the female fighter lady are the mostly ones pushing that narrative. Fuzi seems like he doesn't want to, but he does a little bit. And Coach does a little bit as well. To try to hype it up so it's, you know. And this is throughout the fight, and again, this is just my opinion. I might not have already said that. But just reinstating that fact in case you haven't heard. <laughs> and I'll probably do so again later. I will probably do so again later, excuse me. And, uh, yeah, just exposing that. This was clearly rigged. You saw it in the an Nissan Gibb fight against Taylor Holder. I do not like an Nissan Gibb at all. Do not think he's a good boxer at all. But that was rigged as well. And it's still rigged to be a tie, though, a draw. So that it looked like Gibb, you know, was somewhat of a good fighter. Now, the clear point is when we saw the Jarvis fight. When Jarvis fought Michael Lee, at the beginning of that second round, his first seconds of that second round, Jarvis hit him with that clean hit, knocked him on, the, on his butt, and but before he fell on his butt, he swung and missed with that left hook. And, you know, cleanly knocked him out. So when the fighter lady says, I don't know if she'll say it here, but in this video, watch it for yourself, form your own opinion. I encourage that, obviously. But when she says that Austin McBroom needs to set it up to knock him out, no. Not at all. That's a narrative that's spun so that Bryce looks like he can't fight, but obviously we know Bryce can fight. He's got a strong chin. He you see that? He does not get knocked on his butt whatsoever. Austin McBroom, at the very end, turns him around and throws him on the ground, and, and the ref calls that a knockout, a technical knockout, or a knock, whatever you want, whatever. Who cares? It's a lie. It's cheating. Who cares? And this is just an exhibition. It's an amateur fight. It's not a pro fight. It's not, you know, they don't. It does not go on anybody's record. Even though that knockout was clean on Jarvis's part, and that should go on Jarvis's record. That should be a good, a great accolade for Jarvis because that was the cleanest fight, the cleanest knockout. Definitely of this, you know, event. Probably close to what I've ever seen, to be honest clean-wise. 
very powerful, but for a smaller guy thing, not to diminish Jarvis because Jarvis did do an excellent job. But that was just stated in plain simple facts. All right, I'll stop talking and let you watch this little part. Just going to try and play that ending part. This is the replay. Paige, what did you see here in the second round? Uh, the power shots, right? Mick Broom's come in with, with tons of punches. He has way more power. He's utilizing oh. his weight, right? He's putting his weight behind every punch. Now that she's pushing the Mick Broom narrative, he's got way more power. No, he doesn't. He does not. He's got more weight, which makes him look like he has more power because he's he is pushing all that weight. He was trained well enough to to show that he will push all his weight onto you when he's clenching you so that when he punches at you with those weak punches, it looks like a stronger punch. It looks like he's punching strong and he's not. 100% not punching strong because Bryce would have a lot more than a little red dot under his eye and a bloody nose. And it would have been a whole different story in the Jake Paul versus Deji fight. Jake Paul would have lost that immensely if that was the case, if that was true. So obviously she's being paid to push that narrative. And again, just my opinion. I'm sure there's strong disagreements about that, obviously. He's got more power. He's got more quickness. Fuz, what do you see? Man, I see Austin taking control right now, and I see Bryce losing his composure little by little. See that narrative. That's... I'm sorry, Fuzzy. Love you over here, but... Dude, it's a sad day when you get paid to push the narrative. And if you look at the look on this idiot ref's face the whole time, he does not want to be there. He's just had it with all the cheating, and he wants to go home and cry and stop cheating. He wants to go back to being a regular ref again and not a pay-to-play ref. Just my opinion. You start to see the blood coming out of the nose of Bryce Hall as we head into round number three. So far, Bryce has a chin. He can take a punch. Now, if those ounces were different, I don't know if it would be the same story. Yeah, that's right. If those, if those Ooh, gloves were smaller. Okay. Bryce starting off strong with that body shot, a head shot. Austin coming back, clinched up. Oh, he is throwing from left field. Now, a problem there, right? A little mistake on McGroom's part. Just because you're tied up, you can still punch there. Until the ref separates you, it's still live action. It looks like Bryce has turned the gas on. I, I, you know, it's that fight or flight response, right? He realizes he's in trouble and he needs to turn it up if he wants to get a chance to win this fight. He's, he's reacting to what's being thrown at him. He does not look like he's in trouble. Aside from the look on Bryce's face. That shock, surprise look on Bryce's face. That's it. He does not look shook. No legs wobbly. Nothing like that. It's a lie. Sorry, cheaters. You're exposed. He's looking for it, but you gotta set it up. Ooh. McBroom really looks like he's enjoying himself <laughs> thus far. Oh, he's gotta be once you smell blood. Smell blood. Feel like it feels to be a fighter. You know, earlier we talked about how nobody wants to fight Taylor Holder. Well, it is the exact opposite. Oh, wow. 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 There it is. Pushed him down and he ends the fight like he knocked him out. What an idiot. Oh, stupid cheaters. Alright. That's that. Have a good one.